Hello and welcome about in this video about discounted cash flow analysis in designing global supply chain networks. Um, we need a discount cash flow analysis when we want to compare, we want to evaluate the present uh, value of any stream of future cash flows and uh, this allows managers to compare different cash flow streams in terms of their financial value. So you can compare different options uh, based on their uh, future financial value. This works as follows. Uh, a dollar now is more worth as a dollar next year. How does that work? When you got uh, $100 for example and you put that in, in a savings account that savings account will uh, earn you in this example 10% then after a year you got $110, $110 that is uh, $100 plus the interest $10 is $110 when you got uh, the same $100, not now, but you got it next year, then you, what is the amount of uh, uh, money you invest now to get, to get $100 in a year in that same savings account with 10% uh, interest? That would be more or less ninety dollars ninety point ninety cents when you put ninety uh, dollars point ninety cents into a savings account at ten percent then in a year you got exactly one hundred uh, one hundred dollars so in this example one hundred dollars now is worth next year one hundred and ten dollars and one hundred and ten dollars in a year is now worth ninety point ninety dollars so there is a difference of nine point ninety uh, uh, dollars in one year so in that case the value of your uh, of your dollar of your euro of your rent now is different from uh, from a year from now how do you calculate uh, that you calculate that as follows you got the um, you got the uh, you got the, the discount factor you got one divided by one plus k and k is the rate of return in other terms you could also compare that with the interest rate so when you want to know if there uh, what the uh, what the net value would be of one uh, dollar uh, in one year you do that one dollar divided by one plus for example ten percent so one plus point one so 1 divided by 1.1 1 .1 is 9.909090. Uh, this is the, the ratio behind the, uh, the, uh, the discount factor. Now we got the net present value. The net present value is the current present value, C0, plus the present values of all coming years this is the sum of uh, 1 till t that all uh, that all adds up to the net, net present value um, you uh, compare this net present value uh, to all the design uh, options you got and then you pick the one with the highest uh, financial gain, the highest financial return. Let's use an, uh, an example. In this example we got uh, the Trips Logistics example. 
The demand is uh, 100,000 uh, units. Uh, for 10, for 1,000 uh, square feet of space is uh, used every 10,000 units of demand. The revenue is $1.22. The, um, the three-year lease cost is $1 per square feet. And uh, on the spot market it costs $1.20 per square feet. The, um, the discount rate we use is 0.1, so 10%. Do we need to, is it good to sign a three year lease or to obtain the warehousing space on the spot market? That we're going to calculate now. Let's first um, uh, let's first cross the spot market option. The spot market option will um, will um, we got one hundred uh, thousand um, uh, of demand. One hundred thousand of demand times one twenty two. One twenty two was the um, uh, uh, was the revenue, was the price we got, minus 100,000 times 120. That was the cost on the spot market. So the, um, uh, uh, so the gain obtained is $2,000. $2,000 this year, C0, this year, 2000. 2000 next year and 2000 the year after next year. So 2000 for next year is 2000 divided by 1.1. 1 .1. Um, please uh, think about this uh, one as the discount uh, factor. Plus on year 2 we got 2000 divided by 1.1 1 .1 to, the, to the second as we all have to carry this back. We all carry it back to the uh, net present value. When we, add it, uh, when we add this all up, we come to an uh, annual expected profit, the total annual prospected uh, profit of all the three years of 5,471. 5, now we also got uh, the other option. The other option was the three year lease uh, option. The three year uh, lease option is uh, 100,000 and this is, the, uh, this is the demand times 122. 122 was the revenue minus 100,000 times 1 dollar and one dollar was the price on the in the free year lease so the profit in year one no in year zero is twenty two thousand you see it also here the profit in year one is also twenty two thousand and the profit in year two is also twenty two thousand but um, as we already crossed, the profit of 22,000 for next year is not is less worth than 22,000 this year, so we have to carry it back, and we carry it back in uh, by doing so by dividing it through 1.1. And for the second year, we got 22,000, 22,000 divided by 1.1 1 .1 to the second. When we add this all up, we um, the, uh, the uh, net present value is 60,182. Uh, the price on the uh, spot market, and when we all added that up, that was 5,471. So the net present value of signing a three year lease is far better. So in this option, we choose the three year lease option.